Hey everyone, getting ready to set up my blue bowl here. Um, I live in an apartment complex, so I don't have a lot of room. And uh, so I just got this black tub from Home Depot. I've already poured about 15 gallons of water in it. And then I'm gonna set up my five gallon bucket here. If you've ordered a blue bowl kit already, or plan to, the default pump that comes with them is this 12 volt uh, 750 gallon per hour pump and you can see the leads there that works great when you're out in the field or if you happen to have a 12 volt battery around or an old school battery charger but it's not very convenient uh, when you live in an apartment complex so I actually found this pump it's a pond pump at Home Depot and you can also get it on Amazon and it's 560 gallons per hour and it seems to do a great job uh, keeping up with the water I have to dial it back uh, so I'm not using all of the pump and it's convenient for me because I have an outlet right here so I can just plug in and we're good to go the next step is using these clips provided with your blue bowl which will help you provide a platform for it and level it and it's important to get that inner part over the edge of the bucket as well if you can see that in there otherwise it flops around now it's secure and I can turn this and level it once I put the blue bowl on there's three of those clips and you can see here's the brackets that sit on those okay here's the blue bowl sitting on the three clips as a platform and it's been leveled um, I level off of here uh, I suppose you can level off of the edges as well if you have a leveler um, I have a bubble level app on my phone that I place here uh, that seems to do a pretty good job um, I just want to get it you know fairly level but I can make adjustments once it's running uh, using a keen eye to see what's going on so now I'm going to uh, hook up my pump here and one thing I wanted to mention was is notice the valve here is turned about halfway on it's fully on and open this way and fully closed turned all the way here and what this does is it prevents too much water from blowing in at once because uh, you don't want to potentially blow your gold out okay we're ready for our first trial run and I've got some concentrate here this is classified down to a 40 size 40 and smaller um, after this test I will actually go ahead and classify it down further to a 60 and then what I call an ultra fine the amount I usually run is two heaping tablespoons of concentrate. And one thing I suggest is to actually rinse your concentrate out if you can before running it, because otherwise you end up transferring all the mud into your blue bowl system and it gets cloudy and then you can't see anything and have to change the water more frequently. So let's go ahead and plug this puppy in. <clears throat> what I'll typically do is increase the flow here first to get things rolling. Usually you want to aim for about an inch to a half inch. Uh, in water height so we just need to get it a little bit higher here and turn the dial up Let's see okay it's been a few minutes and the blue bowl is running nicely you can see it's lifted all the blonde lighter material out and just Pretty much the black sand and specks of gold remain. 
you can see we're almost through all the black sand. There's quite a bit of gold uh, left over. You can see how good of a job the blue ball does. Now with the run complete, you can see all the gold. I have a little bit of black sand left over. I could have let this run a bit longer and it would probably pull most of that out. But I tend to shut off a little bit early and um, I'll clean out the rest of this in a pan um, when I'm all done. 